So at the end of the day, if I get out on any of these big boot wearing ass niggas, that's because in the end of the day, these niggas lames. But all the real ones behind me, like the ghetto DVDs, the sea hoods, you see what I'm saying? The the, the wooskies, the mama ducks, you feel what I'm saying? All the real ones behind me, you don't see me saying nothing about them, but see me talking about these goof ass niggas. them bro we all can be up here you can be up here i can be up here bro can be up here we all got our own different lanes and avenues our own different personalities so why be a gatekeeper when you got bro if i had 100k subscribers 200k subscribers right now gang i'll make sure that i'm at the end of the day how i fuck with you and how we got shit going but on but like you like the people shit there. you fuck with on your first when you first started or some shit you would have some type of channel or who you would fuck with on your shit mm -hmm. or passing around Cause you still need them people to make your shit even bigger though. The people who you first started out with gonna help you cause they getting bigger and you getting bigger. Exactly. You mean it's gonna help get exactly. bigger. Exactly. You don't ever know when the motherfucker time gonna come. I had to learn that shit as a rapper. When I was a little big head, I had my shit going on. I ain't do a feature with a motherfucker. They ain't that one and do a feature with a motherfucker. It's just I, I like I couldn't take the time out to do that feature. And that motherfucker blew up. Who was that? That motherfucker blew up. I was mad than a motherfucker. I was hurt. And guess who the motherfucker was? Who? Guess. Vaughn? Mm -mm. Uh, Bobby Smurda or somebody? FBG? Duck. Why you ain't do it with Duck? You clown. You used to be around with Duck. I want to know that. I, I wanted Duck. Duck, from, I guess is, Billy used to be over here. Billy shot a few videos over here. I want to know that. Same thing with Lil Dirk. Same thing with Chief Keep. I met them with my brother, Butter the Prince, going to Paris Brutal Studio. I have plenty to do shit, but it's like, I'm fucking with them like as, you know, regular damn people. Okay, y'all do music. Okay, I fuck around too, but I'm not knowing that they deep into shit, what they got going on. Even the time when Duck was doing this shit, I just came back from Jersey, moved back to the city. I was staying on 70, uh, 62nd. I'm seeing bro them whole shit going on. No, it's mama, all that shit. I wasn't. Oh, let me do a song with bro. Let me write. You feel what I'm saying? It's like I was just happy to see some shit going on. I was happy to give motherfuckers advice. I was happy to help motherfuckers out and be around and see what's going on, be a part of that shit. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I wasn't no nigga that was like, oh, let me take this opportunity to be a rapper. Let me take this opportunity to uh, to get clout and this, that, and the third because I already been there, bro. I was, I was with one of the biggest artists in the world. I had to ask this nigga, why you ain't want to rap no more? You're a millionaire. You're one of the biggest artists in the world. Why you want to do this shit no more? Nigga, they trying to get me to sell my soul. They trying to get me to do this. They got all this other shit going on. The politics of this shit, what? See, people don't understand that shit. When them people give you their motherfucking money, they control you, nigga. Your creativity, how you put your music out, how they want you to dress, the image, how they want you, feel what I'm saying? And people don't understand that. So, yeah, man, yeah, man, that shit, it wasn't what it was, bro. It wasn't, and it's like, you know, let me get on these platforms and try to uh, get these people to real and, and 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 get the people like the FBG Ducks and the Cash and all them to support what I got going on. You see what I'm saying? And and that's how we got where we at. We started out doing interviews, bro. We weren't doing content and none of that shit. We was doing interviews and verse battles. We weren't doing no blogging, no live streams. We weren't doing none of that shit. We was doing interviews. And I did some of the best. Mac Baby, uh, uh, uh Manifest, uh, uh, hey. uh, 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 Pat. Fucking, uh, 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 fucking mama, 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 duck, mama, duck, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 psycho drama, uh, 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 speed knock monsters, uh, Katie got bands, uh, uh, Rashad Jamal, uh, 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 list go on, man. King Yellow, billionaire black, the list go on. Dr. Jamal. Rick Youngin, uh, the list go on. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, Truth Tellers, DJU, before he even popped off, I got DJU interview. DJU wasn't doing no interviews with nobody else. The dates and all that shit don't lie. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, uh, 3J, 3J Know The Truth. All these motherfuckers, I did interviews with all these niggas. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, not a dollar came out. Second nigga to do an interview with Wooski. I should be the first, because Wooski talked on my interview. He ain't talked on Truth Teller shit. And that was after the headshot. Wooski ain't do interviews. Shout out Wooski Girl, Boo Boo Best Friend. She jumped on my live stream, chopped it up with me, because I be sure going crazy. Cool. You know how the live stream be busting. She jumped on my shit. I hang on, woo, walk right out. Wooski, what up, bro? He see my face. Oh, this fool on the block, woo, I, yeah, what's up, bro, man? Let me get an interview. What's up, woo? Oh, yeah, he did the deal. You feel me? 
And she made that shit happen. Shout out Shouty. She cool as hell on everything. And um, yeah, man, niggas don't understand, man. I, 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 people gonna acknowledge me, bro, from the work and the shit that I did, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And like, I'm not a person that like to drop names and this, that, and third, but people know I got I had a BD signed to me, GD Stone, all that shit, Billy Bands. I had uh, Capo Lucci, you know what I'm saying? I had uh, Prince Dre, I had so many motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, social security numbers, all type of shit. Like, this was real shit going on. I shared my opportunity with other niggas because I seen these niggas going crazy in the clubs at Adriana's Deja Vu and then and all these other clubs, you know what I'm saying, that was doing the open mics in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Party Boy, shout out Zoe and T. We opened up for big artist futures and all this shit, you feel what I'm saying? And Shorty and them, they wasn't getting the opportunities that they was supposed to be getting. I knew they was wrong. So I took them under my wing. And we started the whole RGF Midwest, started my own label. You feel me? Like, people don't even understand, bro. People don't understand, bro. Like, I help people in jail, bro. I help motherfuckers with advice, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing this shit because I put so much motherfucking work in with help doing the bullshit that everybody else doing, bro. I feel like right now, it's a chance to do something right. And if I do this shit right, you feel what I'm saying? God gonna continue to bless me how you continue to bless me. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if I get out on any of these big boot wearing ass niggas, that's because in the end of the day, these niggas lames. But all the reals behind me, like the ghetto DVDs, the sea hoods, you see what I'm saying? The the, the wooskies, the mama ducks, you feel what I'm saying? All the reals behind me, you don't see me saying nothing about them. You see me talking about these goof ass niggas. But these niggas have got the clout though. See what I'm saying? The these, goofy niggas got yeah, the clout. Yeah, yeah, bro. These niggas got the clout. These niggas got the, the light now. Because streaming and social media made it to a point where these niggas can embarrass themselves, do all type of big boot ass shit, lame ass shit. What you think about them interviewing all the snitches? We were saying yeah. that. That was one thing we was talking That's about. That's another crazy shit, too. How they giving snitches platforms. You feel what I'm saying? We don't give a fuck about what they think. But at the end of the day, like I said, Look how social media made it. They want to hear everybody's shit. But why blackball the niggas that, like me, need to talk and say some shit or a nigga like you? Nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Or why you don't help them, but you a help a rat? Nigga, he told on every motherfucking body. He got niggas booked. He couldn't be a man for his own shit. The only way you can get in any situation, bro, if you involved in that shit. And when you get caught, my nigga, you have an opportunity to be like, hey, you gonna tell, you gonna work with us, or you gonna woo, cause we know you know these niggas. Or you gonna go on, you feel what I'm saying? So you flicked on all your guys, bro, for a measly couple dollars, bro, that can't even save your life. And you gotta walk around the rest of your life with a mask on. You gotta walk around, around, rest around, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man, think about this shit, bro. Butter don't even give a fuck about shit no more. He just like, man, you know, I got immunity. You got immunity because your ass took the stand, you signed paperwork, bro. You supposed to kept that shit street. You supposed to kept, man, come on, man. You tell them motherfuckers, Vaughn killed this person and this, that, and why you ain't gonna get your lick back? Steady working with the police, you supposed to go got your lick back. You tell, you tell them motherfuckers, you happy that Vaughn died. And you feel what I'm saying? Come on, you gotta make this shit make sense when you doing these interviews, bro.